Hey everyone, Eve Klein here, and today we're going to be continuing the second episode of the Introduction to Alpaca and how to use it for retail or personal algorithmic trading. And so in the previous video we went over Alpaca, what it has to offer, and now we're going to be stepping into the long short equities algorithm uh, example that they provide in order to get a sense of what the interaction with their API is like and how all of you can have your own personal uh, algorithmic trading script that will trade for you based on these set of rules. So hope you like the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. So in this class called long short you have a definition of a initialization function and this is basically what's going to occur once the uh, file is run and you can see you have the alpaca API being called from a REST standpoint that's a protocol you can use to interact with APIs and so it takes your API, API key in, your API secret key and then the alpaca base URL for their APIs and so that gets you kind of registered in the system and able to make calls to their API directly. And then we have the stock universe which is a list or an array in some of their languages and um, you have a set of equities or stock tickers which represent the companies that you will be looking at for this algorithm. So as for all the algorithm knows, no other equities or stocks exist outside of this list of stocks. So it will be focused entirely on these specific ones. And then we're going to format a bunch of data structures, another list called all the stocks, and so basically going to add every stock from the stock universe um, list into this new list called all stocks. And after that we're going to look into a few things, set up some variables, long, short, which will be lists basically telling us these are the stocks we're going to go long on, these are the stocks we're going to go short on, and then a few other variables which may look not super familiar right now, um, but basically just defining variables for the user for the future so it's uh, better for ease, easily accessing them, the data with that, inside them, and we'll get a closer look once we go to this next function which is the run function. So when the run method is called, um, what it's first going to do is cancel any orders that are existing so that we can increase our buying power to the maximum limit. And that's done by looking at the orders and iterating through each of them and then canceling them by their order ID. And then we're going to look at the market and determine the opening time for that specific market. So there's a uh, reference to the Alpac API which has a, a wait market open so it basically counts down um, the hours, minutes, seconds until the market's open. Um, 9.30 for, for, our case, for our case and purpose. And then the main um, task for the run method is the while true function, which basically is the, is the actual execution of the trading algorithm. And so every minute the portfolio is going to rebalance and it'll either go long or short certain stocks based on the percentage change um, from the previous few minutes. And that is calculated in like a later function in the in this uh, file so first we're again going to figure out when the market's closing and there will be no trades placed in the 15 minutes between um, before the close um, and if there are then they're going to unload those positions so sell them and if it's long they're gonna sell and if it's a uh, short they're gonna buy it back and then they're gonna submit the order um, with the corresponding amount of shares that are that are either uh, held or being sold. Um, and then if you keep this running, it'll run until the next market open, and which is what is done in this uh, function here. So it's the await market open function, and it'll use the alpaca get clock, which is um, a method to determine the, the time in UTC, which is the universal time, 
and it'll have the opening time, the closing time, and it, it differs for the particular market, so 9.30 to 4, or other things such as Forex being 24-7, um, so this is not applicable for that. This is specific, specifically for equities. Um, and then the rebalance method, which is a uh, large method which determines basically when these positions are held and how long they're held for. So like before it's going to clear all the existing orders so you're starting at a, a clean slate and it'll have the um, positions you're taking long positions in and then list of the positions you're in short and you'll iterate through the positions and if it's not in, um, and if it's long, then you're going to be on the sell side. And if it's not long, if it's short, you're going to be the buy. And if it's in the short, you're going to do the re reverse so that you'll be able to exit out of your position. And these are more just nuances to the methods that are being called. So, um, these threading uh, methods are just ways to uh, concurrently submit orders and get out of orders. Um, so basically they're saying if the position quantity is equal to the, the quantity that we're looking for, the quantity of the short, then you just don't do anything and you pass. And if it needs to be adjusted, then they'll buy if there's too short, if the difference is greater than zero. Um, and it'll sell otherwise. So um, that's basically what it'll do in the case of there being positions that are in the long list that haven't been executed yet. And if they're being shorted, then it'll look at um, the current list and buy them back. Um, so again, the same kind of um, logic uh, flows through the short positions, where if the quantity of positions is long, is is equal to the quantity of long, then they're not going to do anything. Um, but if they need to be adjusted, then it'll look at if the difference is greater than zero. That means there's too many. So you have to sell some. Um, and if it's uh, equal or less than zero, then you have too little, so you got to buy more. So it's just a constant balancing act of uh, making sure that you're not too um, overweighted in either your long or short positions. So I thought next we could look at the submit order function, um, which is how we officially buy or sell stocks, um, and that's using the Alpac API. So we created a function, submit order, with the quantity that you wish to, tw wish to buy or sell, the equity ticker symbol, the side, so buy or sell, and then you basically dive into the function and if the quantity is greater than zero, so if you're trying to buy some amount, it's just a check to make sure that it's not uh, a zero or a null value. Um, then you're going to try to execute a submit order, which will be a call to the Alpac API, which will include the stock ticker, quantity, and the side. Um, so those will be, let's say, Apple, uh, two shares, and uh, a buy. So that'll be a buy order, um, which means you're going long Apple for two shares. Um, and if to try catch, so if it doesn't work, then you'll get a error statement. And if you have a quantity of zero, then you're also not going to submit an order officially. So if it passes if the order quantity is greater than zero and it passes this try statement that you'll officially submit an order uh, from your API.